Will we see Robert Downey's Iron Man again? Spoiler, yes. Will he appear in any other franchise? And what else is he going to do to make a more meaningful contribution to society? Hi, I'm Dylan, and you're watching Awesome Movies. Let's look and see what RDJ has planned for the future. Moving on from the MCU experience. It's over. The whole era is over now. And although the MCU will have other phases, other movies, and TV shows, it's not going to be the same without the all-beloved characters and, most importantly, without Iron Man. Having been the superhero for only 10 years, it must be a weird sensation for Robert Downey Jr. to suddenly stop being Tony Stark. It's all just over and he has to move on. We can assume that the actor has been reflecting a lot on his post-MCU life, thinking what he's going to do after this important period of his life has ended. It becomes clear from Downey's recent interview with Off Camera with Sam Jones that he doesn't really know what the future holds for him, but he's okay with that. I had an incredible 10-year run that was creatively satisfying. It was very, very hard work and I dug deep, but I have not been forced to explore the new frontier of what is my creative and personal life after this," the actor shared. It's always good to get ahead of where you are about to be. Robert also realizes that he's going to be associated with the iconic role for a long time, yet he knows how to deal with it. He says that he's always created a certain distance between himself and his character, and it helps him handle the transition. I am not my work, Downey Jr. said in the same interview. I am not what I did with that studio. I am not that period of time that I spent playing this character. But even if Robert is good at creating this distance, moving on from Tony Stark will probably be harder than snapping his fingers. But he's not going to do it so quickly. According to the recent news, some people move on, but not him. RDJ might reprise the role of Iron Man in the future. First, we will probably see Tony Stark's cameo in the upcoming Black Widow solo movie. It's unclear how meaningful his role in the film will be, but since Black Widow is set between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, it's logical that Iron Man will be there. After all, he has a long-standing relationship with Natasha, as she was introduced in Iron Man 2. Later, RDJ might also appear in a Disney Plus spin-off telling a story about Ironheart, the teenage superhero who continues Stark's legacy. We Got This Covered says that Downey will probably play the role similar to that of Jarvis. We mean that Iron Man will return in the voiceover capacity and will train the young hero. Even if it's only going to be his voice, we're looking forward to Downey's return as Tony Stark. I am Iron Man. Other than that, let's see what RDJ has in store for us. Doolittle, January 2020. If you've seen the movie Dr. Doolittle starring the quirky Eddie Murphy which was released over two decades ago, you probably remember the hilarious story about a doctor who discovers that he can talk to animals. Hollywood has been enjoying its reboots lately, and 20 years seems to be long enough to make a new film on the well-known and beloved but slightly forgotten plot. This time, Downey was the one who decided to take on the role of the animal doctor, and he joins the all-star cast of celebrity voices for animals. Emma Thompson, Selena Gomez, Ray Fiennes, Rami Malek, Antonio Banderas, John Cena… Do we need to say more for you to want to watch this movie? And the most wonderful thing is, Tom Holland will also be there voicing Doolittle's dog. It means that the former Iron Man will meet his protege Spider-Man once again. And here's one more obvious advantage of this movie. It's going to have loads of cute animals. Now, we probably know where you're going to be on January 17th next year. A Dr. John Brinkley biopic. There's another doctor who's going to be portrayed by Downey Jr., and this film is going to be based on real events. John Brinkley was a con man who lived in the early 20th century, claimed that he was a doctor, scammed people on radio to become famous, and raised a fortune using fake meds. Sounds crazy, right? But wait, there's more. He was also known to perform questionable medical procedures, such as transplanting goat testicles to a human to cure impotence. What? Gross. The film doesn't have an official title or release date as of now, and it's still in pre-production. The only thing known about its casting is that Downey is going to take the lead role. Well, we can just see RDJ portraying this con man with his charming smile and cheeky sense of humor. We just hope that they won't show the goat testicle procedure on the big screen. All-Star Weekend We all know that RDJ is great at making people laugh. At the beginning of his career, he played a few supporting roles in comedies, and recently, he managed to show off his funny side in films such as Due Date and Chef where he starred alongside his longtime friend John Favreau. Sometime soon, he's going to flex his comedy muscles once again because he'll appear in All-Star Weekend. 
Robert's friend and the soloist co-star Jamie Foxx will direct and play the lead role in the upcoming comedy. The movie will follow two friends hilariously battling each other over their favorite basketball players, while traveling from their home in Indiana all the way to LA for the NBA All-Star Game. The cast of this movie will also include Benicio Del Toro, Ken Jeong, Gerard Butler, and the gorgeous Eva Longoria. Isn't it another must-watch? But we'll probably have to wait for a while, because Fox is reportedly still looking for a distributor for the film and it doesn't have a release date yet. Did you know that Downey is planning to do more meaningful things than just acting? Keep watching to see what we're talking about. Sherlock Holmes 3, December 2021 Believe it or not, but RDJ isn't done with franchises after quitting the MCU. He will take on the well-known, already-loved role very, very soon. The third installment of Sherlock Holmes is probably one of Downey's most awaited projects. Robert is going to reprise the role of the legendary detective, and Jude Law will again join the cast as his friend, Dr. Watson. Although Guy Ritchie directed the first two movies, he's not going to return for the third one. Instead, Dexter Fletcher, known for directing the biopics Bohemian Rhapsody and Rocket Man, will take his place. It's inevitable that the change of directors will make the third movie different from the first two. We're different filmmakers, and I'm not going to ignore what he did so brilliantly before. I mean, there will be an element to that, but I will also bring my own voice to it as well, and it will be something sort of different," Fletcher commented. The only not-so-good news about the film is that it won't be released until Christmas time 2021. Ugh, why so long? We've done our waiting. Eight years of it. Team Downey As a fan of RDJ, you certainly know that he's married to producer Susan Downey, but you might have missed the fact that the two of them have launched their own production company called Team Downey Productions. It serves as a banner for a number of future projects. Robert will star in some of them, while others are so meaningful to the couple that they just want to show them to the world, without him taking on the lead role. Let's take a look at a few projects Team Downey has in mind. Perry Mason, HBO miniseries. Initially, it was planned that Robert would star in this one, taking the role of a criminal defense attorney who lived in 1930s Los Angeles. While the miniseries is still happening, a lot has changed since the original plans. Downey won't take on the lead role, but he's still going to be involved in the project as a producer. Although there's no release date, the series is actively moving forward. We know that The Sopranos' Tim Van Patten will direct it, while Matthew Reese and John Lithgow will star in it. AI YouTube Documentary Although he's not Tony Stark anymore, RDJ will still deal with artificial intelligence. He plans to produce eight one-hour-long episodes for a YouTube docy called AI. He'll also be the host and narrator exploring how artificial intelligence is going to change our lives. Turns out he will discuss these matters with scientists, philosophers, and other experts. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Are you? Tell us in the comments. Other Projects Another development that will soon be launched by Team Downey is Constance, a funny but dark TV movie about former beauty queen Constance Young that will be released on TNT. There's also Sweet Tooth, a comic book adaptation telling the story about a young boy and a deer hybrid who discover the secret behind a supernatural phenomenon. It will come out on Hulu. And let's not forget Singularity, a TV series that's going to be RDJ's directorial debut. The Footprint Coalition this project isn't about the movie industry, but it's about the whole planet we live on. In June, RDJ had a 20-minute talk at Amazon Remar's conference and, revealing his interest in technology and the environment, he announced a major initiative. Next April, the celebrity will launch an organization called the Footprint Coalition that will work on enhancing the environment using nanotechnology and artificial intelligence. Between robots and nanotechnology, we could clean up the planet significantly, if not totally, in 10 years," Robert announced at the conference. Little is known about what exactly the organization will be doing, but Downey is definitely active about it and he's already putting a team together to attain his goal. Way to go, Robert. This planet definitely needs it. We all can't wait to see what RDJ is going to do next. Which project do you anticipate the most? Share in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay awesome. Thanks for watching.